Hey guys, what's up now? We're gonna hear back in another video. So today we are gonna be looking at Kombucha Roddy gameplay. Um, I'm gonna be going over how to play as him, uh, showing his moves, and how to counter him. If you do enjoy and uh, like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the button to see more content like this. And without any further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> All right, let's get right into the showcase for Bucciarati. So his first move is Ari Barrage. It does a decent amount of damage, and it's typical, atypical barrage. Nothing special about it. And then you have his second move, Zipper Punch which is a guard break it doesn't have the most forgiving hitbox so would not recommend being too risky with it third move is zipper dash it is a gap closer and it's pretty good for catching um blocks so let's see if i can do it here i missed well i i connected but it didn't go behind the block but sometimes you can catch people who uh are blocking and it stuns them and it gives you a second to actually get some l1s off so that is good. Fourth move is a uh, zipper uppercut. It is a pretty high and laggy move. It has decent range. Um, I would not recommend relying on it, however, because it does have a lot of end lag. So only use it at maybe like your opponent's in end lag, your opponent is in the middle of a move and they can't cancel, or use it uh if you think your opponent's low but i wouldn't recommend using it from much distance because any mid or close range just leaves you way too open for a dash m1 or even just an m1 uh and his fifth move is re beatdown it is a grab does a lot of damage like 30 i think that was so it's pretty good but it has a wonky hitbox like zipper punch so i'll be showing how to handle that in a bit anyways let's get right into his combo so his first move is well first combo that you can do is the basic one so you get like a guard break off and then zipper punch and somehow that actually connected i did not expect that most of the time it doesn't but you can actually spam four at while you're doing barrage and it'll connect pretty easily. So I would recommend doing that. And you see I did like 80 of his HP. Um, keep in mind zipper uppercut does leave you open now. So would not be too crazy about using the move. And now I'm about to go over Ari beat down. So the hitbox is pretty unforgiving. Like if I was right here, the move isn't gonna connect because his stand comes out, goes ahead of him and does the grab. If you're doing an M1, back up a little bit and then do the move so while you're m1ing your opponent or for like the final m1 back up then use re beat down and it should make your life a whole lot easier here. and there you go so zipper punch you know i went a little bit behind him and it connected that's about it for all of his combos he really isn't that combo heavy just really high damage so you gotta just know how to play and punish your opponent heavily and that's what he really thrives off on now tips for him tips well use zipper dash as a move to go through block or catch block use a uh, zipper punch very light because or like really up close because really the move isn't that great so like maybe dash towards them make them think you're gonna go for m1 zipper punch immediately um and then four don't ever use it up close and i would be careful even using it mid-range because it's inconsistent and last tip that i already said while you're at, in the middle of an m1 combo back up if you're gonna do your re beat down so you it will connect and you won't be annoyed and be an end lag too by the way because the grab puts you in end lag the punch puts you in end lag and both punches put you in end lag zipper uppercut and zipper punch so be careful when using those moves. 
Now counterplay, like I said, a lot of his moves have end lag, so catching them with block is really going to help you out. Um, so zipper punch, like I said, isn't the greatest hitbox, like I will even show you, like right here you would think it connects, because it, it will connect, but if I was like right here, you'll see him get punched and it, it just literally will go through his body, so you can really take advantage of that. Uh, Ari beat down has a weird hitbox. So if you're being M1, I would recommend going into him if he doesn't have a barrage, because he's probably gonna try to do his five. And since it has a lot of end leg, like I'll show you, like I couldn't move there, so that just leaves you way open. Like let me back up right here, even. It went through his body, didn't connect. And then I'll even show you with these attack dummies. And then I'll see. Like anyone with a brain would have moved forward and M1 there, or if they had a stand, it would have connected. So, yeah, that move is not to be used lightly. And let me even try using the zipper punch. So that leaves you a little bit open. So be careful with uh, using Butcherati, because a lot of his moves have end lag, and if you're fighting a Butcherati, really take advantage of his end laggy moves. Without any further ado, let's get right into the gameplay um, commentary of me playing as Butcherati. Alright, into the first match against the Avdol. So, um, I'm just going to be going over the tendencies that I'll do, and I'll follow for the rest of the video in this video. Just come with a good basis of what you should be doing. That was a well nice move on his part. Caught his block, and you see I move forward into it, and then I go for some M1s into barrage. I dropped it. I would have went into barrage there, into uh, dash M1 or 4. I did catch him with 4 there, kind of going to dash M1. Did get another M1, then I hit him with 5. Missed one with guard break. Oh, well, that's just going to be common. I saw that he was an end leg, so I did zipper dash there, but I didn't capitalize properly. A good Avdol would have dashed M1 me, since I was in the corner, but he's not a good Avdol. So I was running, assumed he was low, used a 4. See, like, that, is, I love it. I love that move so much, because you can just do stuff like that. I almost blocked at the end there, but I didn't. Tried to catch like maybe a four, like you would do it preemptively. I'm trying to catch a red bind or something. Caught me. Now I'm not completely sure of what happened there. Uh, I did an M1 of it. And... I should have kept M1. That was as stupid on my part, but I did zipper dash, and then I'm able to get M1s into a barrage. I think I tried to do a dash on one here. No, he's just dead. Right. Okay. Stops his red bind with my four. Connor with the zipper dash, because it's just that good. I back up. I beat the dare tree. Um, I actually caught his barrage there, so I get in close. And then I am one of them. Barrage. And then I dash and one of them, and he's dead. And then here he starts complaining about my playstyle against Avdol. And just a nice tip um, for anyone who faces an Avdol, no matter what they say, do not stop turtling. Avdol gets so much damage when you stop blocking, especially since like a lot of his moves just do a bunch of damage. And his moves are, he has red bind that's punishable. And if you're blocking and your Avdol is stupid, no, even then, bar his barrage is very punishable. So his barrage and uh, red bind are very punishable moves. But if you don't block it, then you will take a lot of damage. So you really shouldn't be like, oh no, I'm, I'm blocking a lot. I feel kind of bad. No, because if you're not playing like that, you're going to be at like a two-stock deficit against the opponent. Um, so he's complaining about how I'm playing. And I'm just like, bro, if you... If you're going to play characters that force your opponent to kind of play like kind of garbage or turtle a lot, then don't play that character. 
Like, I'm playing Bucciarati, so I'm supposed to be aggressive and I'm still trailing. Like, what does that say about your main? So, imagine like a Joseph or a, a Jorna, like... Any person who has a reason to turtle even more compared to me, who has less of a reason to turtle, if I'm not, if I'm turtling against you, that just shows that what you're going to face in the future is just going to be ridiculous. So, yeah, it's just him going back and forth, still trying to be like, bro, stop blocking, stop blocking. And uh, I think he just gives up and DCs after this. Not even after this, he just quits the game actually let's see what happens here see look I dash M1 and I'm cutting with the barrage and then I hit him with an M1 dash somehow that didn't punish him cut him with zipper dash best so good I love that move and then he left like what Okay, so our first match is against a Koichi, and, well, I, I think he's pretty low rank, he's not that good at the game, but I couldn't really get too many, like, good matches since matchmaking wasn't there, and matchmaking is closed again, and there aren't that many players playing, so can't really get that much gameplay as Switch already. But he was a pretty good Koichi for, like, a rank zero. And look, he's barraging, I catch him with the 5. That's the only time you should ever run a barrage. And even then, I got punished for it. Like, look at that. And wait, this isn't actually the Koichi that... Because when I joined the lobby, it was a rank 0. No, this is the match where I was in the Discord, I was talking to someone, and I was, like, playing ranked, and he said he was going to play ranked. And we got into the same lobby miraculously. He was a pretty good Koichi. You'll see, like, he isn't just a moron. He was backing up there, so I cut him with four. Cut him with the guard break. I missed it. Shouldn't ever be doing that. He's probably going to M dash there. I knew it. And then I tried to capitalize. He turned around quickly, and Joe's good. Very smart. Now, you can play Koichi with no brain, but you'll have more success not doing that. Cut him with that. And then he dashed barrage immediately. Just shows that move is very easy to punish. Alright, so what I did there is basically a tech I like to... Uh, I don't really have a name for it, but basically you just spam block. Um, and if you expect your opponent to guard break, and it's basically a guaranteed PB. Like, I think he's going to just get right here. Jodoro, but I didn't punish it for some reason. But yeah, that's just a, a really good way for baiting out uh, guard breaks. So it's pretty close. I think both of us are pretty low. I didn't actually expect that. Um, I don't know why I did that, I could have just M1 Barrage, but I still got the M1 Barrage. Yeah, nice. So the Koichi is playing pretty well, getting out my moves and using Josuke to his full potential as like a combo starter. Um, I'm pretty sure both of us are at 3 lives, or I might have a live advantage, I'm not completely sure, but... <laughs> yeah, that, that happens often. Not sure how, but... It does. Like, I guess, like, we get stuck on, like, a little, like, a little, I don't know, like, something in, on, and the map is raised up a little, and Bushra just starts going into the sky. He was backing up, spamming Josuke. I knew he was going to come in and Jotaro, so. And I wasn't, I didn't back up properly with the five, so I got punished for it appropriately. And I couldn't do much there. If I was smart, I would have tried to use my guard break on him. And it would have actually stopped him from being able to do whatever he wanted. I got him off of me because I knew he would rush me down. And then I hit him with the four. Um, pretty sure he's at two lives and I'm at three. But I'm very low. Not a very high lead. Very good Josuke again. 
and then hit me with Jod Jodoro when I tried to use four, but I think it's still connected. So I have a little bit of a lead. That was a smart move on his part, but came back around with Zipper Dash. Love that move, man. So good. It is such a good move. It's ridiculous. Hit me with Josuke. And then he barrage. Like, you can either do a, a dash Jotaro, or you can do a dash barrage. I'm just trying to get something to connect so I can maybe get... I don't even know. There we go. I got an M1 off. Now I can barrage him. Got me with Josuke again. Would have been a nice combo starter. I'm expecting a Jotaro, so... Then he's barraging and I caught him with the 5, and that's GG. He actually had 2 stock lead. Alright, another match. I think this is the final match of the video against a Josuke. I think he played smart. He was playing pretty smart in the beginning, but I don't think he's that good of a player since he's pretty new. But that was a nice play to get, like, just to get off me. And then he saw I was going for M1 and he barraged smart. Caught him with the 4, since I was at a decent range and he was still in his animation. I was expecting a guard break, I mean a... I was expecting that. Nothing seems to really be sticking right now, so I'm kind of nervous. I actually... That was so lucky. Typically that hitbox is not forgiving. Now, I think I hit him with enough, like, two of those. I hit him with two of those. And like uh like two fours, so that's like thirty thirty it's like seventy damage, sixty damage. And then I didn't react fast enough so I could punish his uh what you call it. I somehow got that. I'm just trying to get out of four, trying to get close and maybe get a four out, but I'm not trying to leave myself open and I'm not sure he's low or not. It connects. And I was pretty far, so... And then Sticky Finger does 20 damage. I mean, Super Punch does 20 damage, so... Zipper Punch. Then I actually got a Barrage out right here. And then I go for a Dash M1. And I could have went for 5, but I got very scared. I'm trying to get a Projectile. Not sure how to work out my favor, but I got him with the Grab again. And then I go for 4, because he put up the wall. I should be trying to get his PB, because that'll happen, but it is what it is. I have a pretty hefty lead against him. I got a lot of damage in on his fourth stock, so. And I tried to get go behind him, as you see, but it didn't work out. And I was cornered, so I kind of just had to take it. Um, Just some random advice for playing. You shouldn't really stay, stay in the same spot for when you're getting barrage. Try to move left and right, so when you get knocked away... Um, it's uh, pre it's not as predictable for your movement. You should be trying to back away into the opposite of a corner. I almost caught him, but doing instant awakening for iframes was pretty smart on his part. And then a zipper right there. Tried to get him, but that is definitely my stock. Or it isn't. <laughs> I have like no HP. I'm being very cautious right now because I have no HP. I'm trying to get a guard break, but I should his projectile, uh since he's at like thirty, his projectile isn't a guard break anymore, but it is auto tracking, so that isn't the smartest thing to do. So I'm just trying to get in close, I guess, but sometimes your three your dash will whiff, which is annoying. I caught him with his guard break, but it didn't PB him. Still got him with the M1 barrage. I should have probably went in and did a 5 there, but I still got the M1s into 5. And then he tried to dash, but I dashed too, as you can see. Always dash backwards after a 5. And then I messed up with the 3 again. I didn't even mess up, that's just a move being stupid. At the end of a Josuke combo, you should always try to dash backwards, because you never know when a Josuke will uh, mess up. And... P beat his guard break, and I was able to get some M1s off. Since that move has, like, pretty bad startup, I was able to get that off. Almost caught me with that, and I did a raw 5 
for some reason, and I was able to hit it with my four during his iframes. That is a weird bug. That happened to me when I was using Jorno and pubs. I'm trying to get a guard break. There it is. <laughs> it's so cheap. And I tried to get a roll barrage, but that didn't stick. And then I kind of went to four. I think he's on his last stock now. Like, as you see, like, he was playing pretty decent in the beginning, but he kind of just became a lot more predictable as the match went on. Almost caught him with that, but the hitbox wouldn't have connected. Sticky fingers, Sticky fingers to get off me. Like, who would have rushed down like that? And I'm not sure what he does here, but I hit him with the four. So he's taking a decent amount of damage. And then I get in with a cup, I am one barrage string, and then that's basically GG to zipper dash. And, and then the grab. Alright, that's all the time I have for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell to see more content like this. In the next video, we will be showing off the update characters. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.